Hey everyone, it is Sam McKay from Enterprise DNA. We're going to go over something really cool in this video, and uh, I do have to commend Microsoft for the work they're doing around table visualizations in Power BI, doing an amazing job. There, there, there has been so many updates in the last three months, and I'm just going to showcase one of them, which I think is really awesome. It has immense application uh, across any of your reports that you could really utilize to, to really make your uh, analysis pop, and there's so many different ways that you could utilize it. Uh, but I just wanted to showcase one here that I thought um, that uh, I, th I thought I could uh, demo with effectively and showcase um, the potential. So we've got a you know we've got a da data bottle here, which is just a, a sales organisation. They're selling uh, lots of different um, products, etc., across um, the east coast of the states. So what I've done instead of actually using, say, a column chart, what you can do is you've got immense, uh, well, you get a lot of flexibility around how you can actually utilise these data bars inside of tables now, and they can represent and pretty effectively represent results as well. And so what I've done is uh, I think they sort of look good in a row, on a row here and and um, again they all uh, are um, aligned to the, uh, the the context of your of, of calculations or the filters that you put into your calculations. So in this case say we've, we want to dive into a customer and where they're buying products from us for example, it might be say like an online store, we can click through and the visual of that is really, really cool. I reckon um, you can, um, you know, you can really get a lot of really quick insight, and it's so quick to be able to ch uh, to add to it as well. So, say I wanted to, say I wanted to add another layer to here. It's very easy to uh, and effective to actually get it into, um, you know, to to get it down to, into another layer here. And then all we've got to do is um, I, would, I would have to change over these. Um, uh, what I've done is I've put an additional filter on on these, so I just need to change these around a bit um, to make sure that they're actually uh, looking at a different subset of clients or a different region, sorry. And I'll just quickly do it. And we can we can actually adjust them inside of, inside the table like that. And so the reason why I like them, the reason why I like them is just the flexibility. And you can actually fit a lot, probably a lot more information onto a page than you would with a normal uh, with a normal uh, bar chart. And and just the way that you can change the uh, the title headers, the um, you know a lot of elements within the table. Uh, so you can change the the uh, the font color, you can change the data bar color, etc. So really, really, really cool new, relatively new feature inside of Power BI. And uh, depending on the data set, obviously um, you you might need to implement it a different way. So I'll quickly just show you how how I actually created it. Um, so I'll I'll create one, uh, and I'll show you sorry show you how to do it. So I bring in total sales here, and then I'm also going to bring in my product name. Uh, I'm going to bring my product name into the axis here, and then we're going to create the table. So. Uh, so it's really, really simple. It's, it's, it's where you've traditionally done some conditional formatting. So you just have more options now. And what we can do is we can, uh, in this little drop down arrow, we can go conditional formatting, data bars, and we have the option to actually, uh, this could be positive or negative as well. So if you're say, say doing the difference to forecast or something like that, this way you can, um, you can maneuver them around. I think the lighter colors work a little bit better and we can make sure we get it into uh, the correct palette. And you see now that we have this, um, you know, we have our bars inside our tables. Uh, we can also, what I did was I actually put a different, uh, you can use these filters as well, just like you would in any visualization. You can actually bring those in and, um, and associate those to, say I've got a particular state code that I want to look at. Maybe I only want to look at, uh, say, Florida here for FL. And what we can also do, we've also got the ability to change the headers here. So really quickly, you just get a really killer visualization in my in my view. We can also change the background. What we can do is we can change the background uh, to the um, to the actual uh, rows as well. And so you couldn't actually do that, and well, you couldn't you couldn't make it look somewhat like that uh, like this um, if you use the, the the standard bar chart, obviously. So just just lots of different options. Uh, really really killer new feature. Um, I, I can see that I'm, I'm going to start using this far more than I've um, 
you know, I've, I've uh, now that I feel like I can integrate it in and make it look um, and pretty. Uh, pretty effective or pretty compelling you know it's I think it's really good for also sort of small visualizations say you want to layer small visualizations one after the other like so uh, on, a, on a row on your report I think um, you know I think this is re there's a really good application for this so I just wanted to showcase um, you know the, the the opportunities that you now have with tables um, there's actually a, a lot more that you could actually utilize as well um, but um, don't have time for to go into them in this video uh, certainly will uh, in time so watch out for it don't forget to subscribe to um, Enterprise DNA TV. There'll be fresh Power BI content every weekday. Uh, so if you want to uh, stay um, stay on top of all the latest updates, um, all the awesome techniques you can implement into your own analysis, don't forget to uh, push the subscribe button. And if you enjoyed the content, appreciated the content, uh, then uh, that would be it would be awesome to get a like on the video. Um, really appreciate you watching, and good luck with it. Talk to you soon.